Say calculated risk. Calculated risk. Look at your neighbor. neighbor. For you to come in, you your divine destiny, your divine whatever, destiny. That is, whatever that is, you're going to have to, to, have to take, some take some calculated risk. Calculated risk. Calcul say calculated. Calculated simply means I've sat down and thought, what is the worst thing? that could happen. And sometimes when you calculate up the scenarios, you say, I won't do that. It's too heavy. There are certain things you shouldn't do. See, I can't teach on fear and not talk to you about the other side. There are certain things you shouldn't do. You're just, you're just not ready to do. But there are certain things that you're ready to do. The risk is minimal. The risk is manageable. Amen. When you come into that area of your life and you begin to process like that, and you say, you know what? I believe God's calling me to do this, and, but, and there is risk there. It's going to cost me something, some money, or whatever it might cost me, but the risk is minimal. There's risk, but it's minimal. Now you should look to do what you sent in your spirit. It's time to do. See, I don't want folk to run out and talk about, I'm going to become a real estate investor. You got $28 in the bank. <laughs> I'm just not going to be fearful. No, no, you need to be fearful. You, <laughs> you don't have no money. <laughs> See, I, I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is a calculated risk. You have to learn to walk past the fear of that risk, that calculated risk, and move into what you believe God has for you. The Spirit of the Lord spoke to me this morning in my quiet time while I was praying. The Lord, Spirit of the Lord said to me, tell somebody under the sound of your voice this morning that I'm ready to move them into their destiny by the first of the year. He's, he's ready. It's a terrible thing when God is ready and he can't get you ready. I call that the missing of a season. Where God said, it's time for you. And God said, I'm ready to back you up. Don't miss any more seasons because you're getting gray now. <laughs> Would you bump your neighbor and tell him, I know you look good. <laughs> That's not everybody. Bump somebody and say, neighbor, I know you look good, but you're getting old. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> 